Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to play the Rockstar Games launcher version of Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Steam Deck. So first off, we're going to put our Steam Deck into desktop mode. Now once we're here, we're going to want to navigate to the bottom left to the Discover tab. Go ahead and search Proton in the search bar and download that. Once we have that downloaded, go ahead and look it up on your Steam Deck. Open up Proton. Go to add version, go ahead and select the latest version. For me, it was dash 55, go ahead and install that. And then we can close out. Next thing we wanna do is install the Rockstar Games launcher. But first, we have to install the Rockstar Games launcher installer. Confusing, I know. Go ahead and click download for Windows, close out. And then we're gonna to wanna to find it in our downloads folder. So. Once that's there, we're going to want to add the installer to Steam. So go ahead, open Steam, add a game, non-Steam game, click Browse. Then we're going to want to go to Home slash Deck, and then make sure you select all files, and it should be in the Downloads folder. Go ahead and open that. Add the selected programs. Go to your library and look it up. Go ahead and go into properties, run the compatibility tool, and force the latest version. X out, go ahead and click play. Select your language, untick that, continue, untick that, and close. Now we can remove this from Steam. All right, now we're gonna be adding our launcher to our library. So go ahead, non-Steam game, Browse, and then home deck, dot local, share, steam, steam apps, compat data, and then this is where you're going to want to find your most recently modified folder. PFX, drive C, program files, Rockstar, launcher, Go ahead and hit all files, open the .exe, add that program, and there we go. Go into the COG, properties, force that compatibility tool, the most recent version, and then we're just going to change this to Rockstar Games Launcher. Close that out and go ahead and hit play. Fill out your login information, and if you have the game installed, it'll ask you to scan for it. But we do not, and we're actually going to be installing this on our SD card. So the path for my SD card is located under this E, and we're just going to go down and click OK. Alright, and then install. Alright, once that's all installed, go ahead and look up ProtonDB RDR2. Uh, and then we're going to want to find this command line, copy that, open Steam, navigate to our properties once again, and then right there where it says launch options, go ahead and paste that. Alright, here we are back in good old gaming mode. Go ahead and open the Rockstar Games Launcher. Go ahead and click play. So, here we are in the game. Now for graphical settings, I recommend checking out Cryobyte. Uh, he has a really good in-depth guide on how you can squeeze the best performance out of the Steam Deck and keep some battery life. Uh, I prefer to run this game at the 40 FPS cap because this game actually cannot reach that 60 FPS mark, but believe me, 40 FPS is all you need for this game. I originally played Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Xbox One which ran at 30, and in comparison, it feels like a slideshow. Anyways, guys, I tried to make this as quick and consolidated as I could. If you guys have any questions or need help, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Mocha Tech, out.